Guys, this is Impus here. Back with another video, and today we're going to be going over the Huckleberry. I know I'm late, but I keep getting these exotics now. Uh, soon there will be a video coming out on the World Line Zero. I am currently going to be using the Steel Sybil as well, I guess that's how you pronounce it, but, uh, because I need to get, I need to learn how to use swords properly for this. But I wish this was like D1 so I could just unequip my gauntlets for these gauntlets and be able to go down here and just equip another exotic, but they had to make the game autistic like this, so. I can't have two armor pieces. We have Ride the Bull, which just when you shoot, it's got an increased fire rate and recoil. Uh, just like the uh, other gun, Sweet Business. And it kills also reload a portion of the magazine. Uh, we get those two stats. Uh, we also get range and stability. We get Rampage, which gives us more damage when we get kills. We have short action sock, which will increase the handling speed, and also it's very easy to grip. Oh, keep what in mind, our bullets also ricochet thing. off of hard surfaces, and you can hear them by Zer, because you can just tell what I got. I don't know why we're dancing, but we're all dancing. I gotta tell you, this thing looks amazing. Off the start, I'm loving how it looks, and oh my. On top of it, the reload looks nice, the ricochet just... I think they they definitely changed some looks Attention on this. all crew members. Incoming fallen craft with elevated ether signatures. Where? Where? Oh, it's right over here. I just killed myself, I think. Barely. Just barely killed myself. Oh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna collect that. Oh. Feeding on that servitor. Oh. That is very bad news. Please stop them. How about I love her sarcasm. She's you should definitely be able to equip two exotics, so. Or at least four exotics at once. I mean, I know that's like a little bit overkill, but. Look, I'm finding a ton of power ammo now that I equip the sword. Is it just harder to find power ammo with that sword or something? Is that just a perk or it just makes it harder to find power ammo with it? Like I like I tried to make tons of videos on that sword, but all of them failed because I couldn't find power ammo. Two two one two one two three. Ninja crate. Reach with the scout. Step right up. Oh, that would be fun. So I had to do that. You're in my area. That's not being day now. Just, you know, break again. So the fire rate increase is very not noticeable. That's it. You thought I was going to say noticeable? No. I do not notice a increase on the fire rate. Now I could just be extremely high right now. Uh, very high chance. One, hit it. Yeah, I think I'm high. So, I think if you kill all three of the, uh, all, th yeah, three of those servitors, uh, you get, it starts a heroic event. So, best to do that. All the servitors are about to go. Well, I can disappear on you and stuff. Ah, badge, 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 badge. I hate the servitor one. Oh, thanks. Thanks for helping me out of here. Eek. Now he's burning. Why am I not an eye? I feel stupid now. Increased damage. Ah. 
Oh shoot, he went through my shield. He not nice guy. He's a not nice guy. Very not nice guy. Come here, boy. No? You don't want to come here, boy? Why? I mean, I, I have a gun. If you don't come here, I, I'll shoot you, man. You really not? Come on, man. Get out there! Yeah. That's why kids shouldn't have a YouTube channel. Is because they end up like me. And you don't want to end up like how my channel is. Trust me. Oh boy, I've had multiple people in the past say, "Oh, one day when I grow up, I want to be like you." Like I'm saying like little kids. I'm like, <laughs> you're very funny. Oh wait, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, go eat oh. your ether somewhere else and don't come back. Don't worry, they'll definitely be back. Okay. I failed the event, guys. That's because I can't do that event so I hate that event. It's so annoying with the teleporting. I mean, I can do it if I had somebody else in there, but... Plus, I would have had, like, an RPG or something if I knew there was that one. This thing reloads a little bit too much. Like, I gotta, I gotta admit it. Bit too much of an issue. I mean, I'm honestly not a fan of the Huckleberry so far with what I've seen. Maybe if I understood something about it. Oh, yeah, I understand now. It kills. Reload a portion of your magazine thing. So pretty much, you can have infinite ammo. Well, I mean, it does reload. But yeah, look, it just uh, gave me some ammo on that kill. So I don't even got to reload. And not reloading is very helpful. I can, I can shoot endless. But guys, I need to check something really fast. Let me check the sword. Let me see. Yeah, it's not even. Holy, I'm dead. Investment. Okay, never mind. I'm good. I was gonna say investment just pop my super so I don't die. Two, two, one, two, one, two, three. I remember those, those hobgoblins from Destiny 1. They were a pain. Destiny 1, man. Mm. I don't get why the robots are immortal. I honestly didn't expect the Huckleberry either from my Ingram. I was expecting something bad that I just got rid of. Because I got rid of a few exotics, like really bad exotics earlier today. Oh. Oh, that's a Minotaur. I thought that was um, a Hobgoblin, a Hobgoblin that was just spawned headless. Ooh, no Oh, I've seen that weapon before. Yeah, it's not too terrible. It's not too terribly bad, but not too good either. I, I'm pretty 
this guy used it before, expecting it to be an auto rifle, kind of like a uh, Scar IRL is. Well, it's actually just Pretty sure it's a scout rifle. So then I changed my mind. You need a really big group of enemies to properly use this gun. I mean, other than less, I'm kind of properly using it. I'm keeping up my rampage, and I just got a kill there, and I reloaded it. Okay. When I have on ammo, you just want to get a kill. Oof. You may get ultra super mega mega. I'm not using this weapon in Crucible, I know, call me a baby. I'm not using it in Gambit, no, uh, neither. Boy, I gotta explain why again after my failed attempts of using the sword at which I've never got ammo for. Um, I don't do Crucible anymore. The reason why is because I'm only at level 30. I don't have any of the uh, DLCs except for Warmind. And... I, uh, there's a lot of Forsaken players in there that are like level 50, and they're just going to destroy me because I've went to Crucible matches multiple times on this account. Trust me, it is nuts and good. So, it, it gets very nasty up in there. Uh, so... I don't play Crucible because the, what I think D2 should do and what they've really messed up on um, is they should have made it to where the game gives you free V-Bucks. No, but they should make it to where when you buy a DLC, uh, you should, when you play with other players, you should only play in that DLC. I mean, even if you only have four seconds, you shouldn't be able to play with other players because you're too overpowered for them. But they should make it kind of like skill-based matchmaking, but DLC-based matchmaking. So if you have a DLC, you're only playing with DLC players. Because imagine being level 50 going up against a level 20 without a DLC. That is not fair. You, you all have to agree as well. That is not fair. Just playing... And going up against level 50 on your first ever game, maybe, of Crucible. So, my point is, is D2 add that. <laughs> because even if you have Warmind, I feel like you shouldn't even go up against Curse of Osiris players. Because uh, they're very underpowered. They have less skill, probably. I mean, I'm not one to judge, but. It's just, I'm pretty sure the higher power level you are, the more health you have. And being able to get to 500 power level to end destroying people, 600 actually, you can get to 600 power level. I thought it was only really after I first saw it, but you can get to 600 power level. But then there's the normal players who can only get to power level 300. That's double that. And that just means that you're gonna get destroyed. You're gonna get destroyed. So, my point is, is I'm not gonna go into a, uh, a game of Crucible anymore until I get Forsaken. Cause I'm gonna be getting Forsaken eventually. And yeah. But that's gonna have to wrap it up for the video. The Huckleberry, very nice weapon, to be honest. Kind of a waste of an exotic, though. Look at that. 
recoil. I mean, I think it's controllable. I'm not really. It's going all over the place. So that's what you want to do. Not necessarily tap fires, but just little shots. You don't want to spray at an enemy. You want to just be like. And then when the recoil starts getting uncontrollable because of the ride the bull, the ride the bull just gives the recoil very uncontrollable. You can easily take enemies out from a decent range, but still not recommended in my opinion. So yeah, kind of a waste of a slot. But you guys let me know down below, why do you think this weapon is good or, and why do you think that's bad? If you don't think that's good and what do you think that's bad, let me know the reason why you think it's good or slash bad. But the upside is that it's pretty much got infinite ammo when you shoot people and the fact that it has a rampage on it just makes it very good. The downside is, like I said, the recoil, the fall off damage, just... I mean, don't get me wrong, I read this properly. It does say submachine gun right there. But, gotta admit, the recoil and stuff is kind of bad. So, this is my loadout forever. My, oh, I've always liked that, to be honest. This assault rifle. But, my loadout forever is this, right here. Better Devils. Uriel's Gift, and World Line Zero. So, do I recommend the Huckleberry? I don't want to say no. But I don't want to say yes. It's just like, if you got it, and you don't want to put an exotic on, and you don't know what to do for your kinetic, sure, I'd go for it. It's pretty fun. So... Just because this perk, not the ride the bull, but just the ammo on kills. And the, this perk, the rampage. So, yeah, that's going to have to wrap it up. I'm going to be reviewing the World on Zero in the next video, maybe. Maybe, not 100% sure. But I don't want to sound like I'm clickbaiting yet. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next video.